So, I know I did not record yesterday because I actually recorded my first tutorial video yesterday. Yes, I did a tutorial. Um... I'm I'm looking down cuz I'm my hair is not the way my hair is was in the tutorial. My hair now is in a high puff due to the fact that um it didn't turn out. I'll just I'm just going to go ahead and admit to it. The style actually turned out what didn't turn out was the hair color of the we the weave or the the hair. This hair here, I'm going to show you guys the hair. You guys probably can't tell, but this hair doesn't match my hair. So, um, I'm going to try something else to make, to see if I can make it match. I'm going to do that tomorrow night. I may record that instead. I'm actually, you guys are going to still get the tutorial. I am going to still give you guys the tutorial. I'm just going to, um have to do it a little different because well i'm not gonna do it a little different the tutorial may go a little long due to i'm going to add on to it let me say it that way that's better um let's see what else what else what else what else um i just finished watching a couple of youtube videos and then it kind of gave me some ideas of things to do for my makeup for my everyday makeup and um Right now, I am getting ready to switch some things out of my makeup bag and into my makeup bag. Because, like I said, I'm trying to do a good everyday makeup. So, what I'm doing is I am switching out my Becca... Um, what is this? This is the um, Low Light Sculptor, which you guys can see. Yes, I hit pan. I hit pan on it um, like a month ago, I think. Oh, Lord. I hit pan on it a month ago. And I'm switching back in Deep End by Bare Minerals, which I'm going to try to open up really quick so you guys can see. I think you all have seen this in a haul video. I just hadn't used it yet. Um, if I can open the damn thing. <laughs> trying to do this with one hand. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to switch in Deep End. I am also changing foundations. Because I think I told you guys I went looking for foundation because bare skin leaves me looking like a ghost. So I am switching in for the first full week of the year. I'm going to switch in my uh, Makeup Forever HD. I'm going to switch that in. Also, what I'm going to do is change the way I put on... Uh, my banana powder because I've been doing it with a brush with this brush actually I've been doing it with a brush but then I discovered after watching a I've been watching a bunch of videos and it, it didn't occur to me that it's better to actually use a beauty blender to put it on because you're gonna you're putting it you're getting it into your creases and, and your fine lines and yes as you all can see I do have fine lines under my eyes. So what I want to do is get it in under my eyes so and get it in before it starts to crease. That is the thing. And I don't think the brush is doing that for me. Also, I am going to start wearing eyeshadow again to work. So um, I have a couple of different palettes to choose from. So, I'm trying to debate. I'm going to show you guys all the palettes here. I have a few palettes. Yeah, yes, I have a bag of pumpkin seeds on my dresser. Um, I'm trying to decide between the naked, the first naked palette. I have the Kat Von D Monarch palette I just got uh, for Christmas. Um, that was uh, what I got with my gift card from my mom. Um, I got the Kat Von D Interstellar palette. I got that from Mia for Christmas, which I love this palette. I may end up going with this one. Uh, this is a blush palette. This is not what we're talking about. <laughs> and from BH. And I also have the BH uh, Neutral palette. So I have a bunch of different palettes to choose from. And then we also can just open this drawer and just go ham, egg, and cheese on all the stuff that I have. 
eyeshadow wise so I'm trying to figure out which palette to go with right now I mean the Urban Decay Naked palette is probably like a suitable choice between that and the Nudes palette and then intermixing the Monarch and the Interstellar palette for like if you want to do a little pop of color one day at work like I want to just like throw something in on the crease and do something a little you know just a little different so, so I think that is what I am thinking about doing I like I said I have not fully made a decision on which palette I'm going to use in the morning but I'm trying to do like a quick makeup that is the biggest thing right now is to do a quick a really quick makeup thing that can get me in and out the bathroom so Reginald can get in and get ready himself to go, you know, to work and everything. So like I'm tr what I, another thing I'm trying to do is get back to pulling my clothes and have it on my food and everything ready before work. That's another thing I'm trying to get back into. It's the new year. So I'm trying to like get my old habits back up again that I slacked on. I'm actually liking my hair right now in the, the, um, high puff i haven't done a high puff in so long because my hair just not doesn't want to be in a high puff but it's slightly stretched due to um putting it in the ponytail so i'm trying to figure out a way to get it right but actually it doesn't look too bad so i may end up keeping it like this but the thing about it like right now i have a old um headband a brown headband so i need to try to find a um need to find a um black one because knowing me, I wear more black than anything. So it's one of those things. Uh, let's see. What else am I trying to do? Um, My pressed powder. I am actually going to get away from my pressed powder for a little bit, which is my tan pressed powder from Bare Minerals. I'm going to get away from that for a little while. Reason why is it's Bare Minerals and their stuff. It, it's mineral based so mineral based of course it's going to kind of reflect light so I mean I'm not leaving bare minerals altogether I want to see how this holds up on a full day also the thing about it I'm gonna show you guys the powder I'm gonna use really quick um the powder I'm gonna use is the elf high definition powder which I've had this for a while I think I would I pay five dollars for this at Walgreens and shh, that's my stuff I love it to death um I'm probably gonna use that to set my um to set my foundation and just use my uh and then use my bit and I do have the midnight banana powder I do have it uh my sister Lisa gave me hers because she didn't I think it was more the um container situation for her and I, I'm making it work, actually. I'm making the Ben Nye work for me. And it does actually work out for me, thank goodness. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, oh, I can't even remember what I was about to say. Actually, I'm going to take a brush out. There's something else I'm going to do. Um, I'm doing a lot of, I'm trying to scale down some things. And use some things for other things like this brush here. I love to death. This is my um, contour brush. I'm actually not going to use this brush anymore. Since I'm going to deep in, I'm going to go back to using a regular fluffy brush again, which actually is going to probably be this brush um, because uh, what was I about to say? Oh, because um this is more of a sculpt thing like if i'm trying to do you know we're going like if we're going out and we're you know doing a nice dinner or i'm going out with, you know having girls night or something and i want to sculpt the face and get real precise with the face i think that is the found that that's the the brush to use um like i said i'm trying to scale down what's in my uh bag because I notice my purse is heavy when I have my makeup bag in it. So um, I think that's the thing I want to try to scale down. Also, I don't know if this is going to be the everyday foundation. This may be my going out foundation, but it is very light. This is probably the lightest foundation. Bare Skin from Bare Minerals is a light foundation. But the issue I have with that is that it rubs off. Like if I'm, um, and when I wear my, my headphones to work, it rubs off on my headphones. I can't wear 
my uh, new Beats headphones and they're white because I get a little makeup on it. Uh, but when I wear my NARS, um, my NARS of uh, more, uh, tinted moisturizer I can't talk my tinted moisturizer that doesn't rub off at all so what I want to do is try to find a foundation that doesn't rub off I would love for this to be every day because of the price I would love for it to be an everyday foundation but we shall see sorry Facebook stuff so like I said I am getting ready to get into just kind of changing up my makeup habits and changing up how I put my makeup on um, so it's funny now I'm going to have two different um, beauty blenders. This is my original blender. This is the one that my um, concealer is, goes on. And this is going to be the powder, my uh, banana powder. So, you know, something different. Like I said, I'm trying to do something a little different, something new. We're going to see how this goes. Hopefully my, um, my makeup goes quicker in the morning. We'll see. But I think I'm going to probably interchange palettes like, oh, today I'm going to wear make, uh, naked. Tomorrow I may do interstellar. Day after may mess around and, and throw in some, some Monarch. I don't know. I'm just, I'm having fun with makeup. I think this is going to be the year that I have some fun with my hair, my makeup. Um, well, not so much my hair, more so my makeup. I think I'm going to do it. I, I'm going to do another video and I'm going to talk about my hair goals and I haven't done that yet because I'm still I'm tossing between I've mentioned a couple of things I think uh yesterday in a video a day before no the day before not yesterday I didn't vlog yesterday but I'm trying to figure out what I want to do this year with my hair and I mean I have some thoughts on it but I sit down with you guys and let you guys know my full true feelings really feelings 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 really soon um i think that's about it i think i've talked enough so i'm gonna go ahead and finish getting all my stuff together for tomorrow i'm gonna go ahead and get the uh chicken ready because we're doing salad again we're, we're going back to our salads for lunch breakfast we're still having issues we're still trying to figure stuff out um i will be filming um there's gonna be some new videos coming down the pike I think I told you guys that. So, um, let me get out of here. I got to go. I need to, um, I don't think I logged in my breakfast and my lunch of Rotel and chips yet. So <laughs> let me do that. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.